Okay, today's project outdoors here working on the 2006 Chrysler Town & Country. Just I have the uh, fuse box flipped over. Just a real quick note on that, you gotta take the battery out. Um, I just take off the, the uh, tabs on the battery. You'll see it laying there. I leave the extensions on. Um, flip it open, you'll see this is what we're looking at. Okay, so the project today is the horn won't blow. Uh, this module in the front here, about three to four hundred dollars, maybe use a little cheaper. Uh, the other fix would be find this wire. Okay, that color, it's going into this module here. Let me back up a little bit to get perspective. It's right here. This is the plug. So it's this wire. So this wire goes back up the steering column. When you press the steer, the, the button for the horn, it grounds it. So what we're going to do is we're going to match that up, take a wire, jump her off of that, and bring it up here to this relay. Let me just make sure I get it right here. This relay in the corner is the horn relay. Right now what happens is it runs and tells the module that you're pressing the horn, and the module then sends a signal to the horn relay. The reason they do that is so that the horn blows also with the... Uh, lock the doors, security alarm, that kind of thing. So it's not a fill, it's not a parallel system, it's in series with this module. So it doesn't, signal doesn't get through the relay, it doesn't work. I just tested the relays, I tested the horn by jumpering, let me show you that. Take this out, the relay, and you'll see how it's set up. Notice the picture. If you jumper the pins, let me see if I can get right on top of this. Okay, it would be looking at it, lower left, upper right. You run a jumper across those, just tap it, you'll hear your horn go burp. And that's equivalent to short, uh, that's equivalent to, uh, if you're looking at the plan here of the pins, you'll see that that's the switch. So what we gotta do is figure out the, the relay, the, the uh, right here, is the uh, coil. And I'm thinking there might be a diode in there. So if we put the meter on, we should get a, uh, a reading one way and not the other way, which will tell us which sides are ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into that right now and I'll be back. Okay, just a couple changes, here we go. So what we're looking at, you're taking a wire um, to that hole where the relay re represents the relay, that would be See, looking at the relay, that's this pin right here on the end, right of the three, See the three that are together. And then what you want to do, take that, that wire goes there. Now here, let me just show you what I did. You come over here, strip back this, let me get it right here, that wire. Of course, I'm going to solder that and tape it. We'll be good. I'll have that done here. Um, but... That's where it goes in. So you push it in and then you just follow it a little bit, back it up with the relay. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, batteries installed. We're gonna do our first test. What I did was I put the, uh, what I did, I'll tell you this, be off camera, went ahead and folded back, hooked the battery up, and before I put the wire into the hole, I put the uh, relay back in. Just wanted to see if maybe loosening everything up, putting it back, would uh, have it work in it like it was a cold connection. Didn't go. So I went ahead and put the wire in uh, the, the slot that I mentioned, which would be this corner of the relay up in that corner. Put the wire in, push the relay in on top of it. Um, and uh, let's give it a shot. Um, we know the horn does not blow the other way. Give it a shot. Let me just set the phone down. And we'll run in there. And... All good, just button it up and ready to head to inspection. They wouldn't pass it because I didn't have the horn. Makes sense and it's a safety thing too.